ASMR. Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome to a brand new weekly reading vlog. Today is July 4th. I'm off work today, which is great because I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, it is only 8.30 in the morning. I woke up this morning. I wanted to sleep in so bad, but I just cannot sleep past 6.30. I can't do it. I've tried so hard and I can't. I think the only time I'll probably be able to sleep past 6, 6.30 a.m. is probably when I'm on vacation. And, and I know I have like a whole week off. And I don't have to like think I'm wasting a day by sleeping. I'm weird. I'm so anxiety. Um, but how are you guys doing on this lovely start of the week? When you guys watch this, it will be Monday. So how's your Monday going? Um, reading updates. I have none. I didn't read anything yesterday because I was at my parents' house and I had a ton of editing to do, which I got done last night. I stayed up way too late way too late for me is 11 o'clock and I finished it so that way today on my day off I could dedicate it to reading so that's what I'm doing I got up and I went for a walk it was my first walk in a week since hurting my back and my neck and it felt very good I really enjoyed it I listened to my audiobook which was Greenwich Park I have about an hour left and it's things are unfolding it's getting good it's it's a British thriller and I love British thrillers. I don't know about you guys, but I love them. I live for them. So I'm really liking it. Um, I'm currently writing my to-do list, which you guys can't see right now, but I will show you guys when I'm done. I'm going to go have my breakfast, write my to-do list, and I guess I'll catch you guys in a little bit. It is much later. It's actually 6.21 in the evening on Monday. Um, I Let me just tell you about my day. So I did go to the pool for a couple of hours. Can you see how... Yep, you can see it. Um, and I did get a lot of reading done. I managed to read like 150 pages. Actually over 150 pages. Yeah, I read 150 pages, which was great. Did not expect to get that much done. And so after the pool, because I was feeling, you know, I'm like, I feel like I'm roasting. So I came in, and plus the pool was so crowded today, which I kind of knew it was going to be because it's um, the 4th of July and everyone's off today. And they had probably all their festivities this weekend. I didn't celebrate because America doesn't deserve a birthday this year. Pool was very crowded. I got there, I was there at 10 a.m. and I was the first one there for literally only 10 minutes and then everyone came and all the chairs were full. So I was like, I'm gonna go home. 
around noon. So I spent about like two hours there, which was perfect, perfect time. Um, and then I came home and I had some lunch because I was hungry. And then I went to schedule my vlog to upload for today at four. Got that done. And then after lunch, I read. And then I read maybe about 10 pages and I passed out. Slept for two hours. I never do that. I never nap anymore. I'm not a napper. So now I feel very awake. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. So I woke up and I woke up back from a nap and I actually finished Fireborn. And the first off, do you see that? Do you see that? It's literally falling apart. Like, it's falling apart. Great. But what I will say about this book is this book, I was like up and down with it. I didn't really know what to rate it after I finished it because there were some parts I did really like. Other parts were so slow. And I was like, can we just get the ball rolling? And the butt. When the good parts happened, they were good. They were great. We loved them. They were stunning. Ugh. So I think I'm going to settle on 2.75 because I don't feel like it's a three-star book in my opinion. But, you know, um, I will say I really liked how the dragons were part of the main story in this book. I loved how they were, like, more of a companion than anything in this book. I loved how, like, the writers emotions were connected to the dragon the dragon could feel I, I thought it was just so cool how the author did that and I don't know it kept me interested in reading and the romance was like I guess you could say they were kind of like strangers to I don't know if they were ever lovers but it was like strangers to enemies and then to lovers but they're not in a full-blown relationship they just shared a kiss so, do with that what you will. But all in all, I did enjoy it. Um, I have the second book that I have to start tomorrow, Flame Fall. This book looks even longer. Let me see how long this freaking book is. Oh, it is even longer. Oh my god. Now that I finished this, I am supposed to start this book tomorrow on the 5th. And read it until the 10th. Like, I have till the 10th to finish it. But my issue is I don't know if I read this if it will put me in a slump because I was feeling very slumpy and like didn't really want to read. I found myself getting like disconnected from the story. I really wanted to DNF this book multiple times. Although I did, it was the slow parts I wanted to DNF. I did enjoy it, but there were still some parts I'm like, <sighs> so I don't know if I want to read this right away. So my plan is I have about 90 pages of The Perfect Stranger, which is the book I started reading last week in last week's vlog. So I'm wondering if I finished this book and then picked up this one, if maybe just to like break up a fantasy read. But this cover, love this cover. It's so just like pretty. And it is to continue reading this today. Hopefully finish it by tomorrow, which I think I should. After work, I'll probably finish it. I don't really have much else to say other than that. So yeah, I'm gonna go read, maybe have a dessert. I'll have a crumble cookie left over that I think I'm gonna have. Tuesday I feel like it's a Monday because yesterday I didn't work and yesterday was a Monday and today I went back to work and I'm like all like I don't know I'm all confungled but it's Tuesday I have some reading updates um my hair is wet because I literally just got out of the shower I'm drinking a Celsius well I only have like this much left I had this after work because I had a workout 
and I was drained. Like, I was so tired. I, the last thing I wanted to do was work out, but I'm like, I remember I have a Celsius, so I had a Celsius. This is the Wild Berry. I like this one a lot. I like this one more. My favorite was the orange one, and then I tried this, and I'm like, this one's probably my favorite. Also, I probably shouldn't be having this because it's like 5 o'clock at night. Reading updates. Let's talk reading. So last night I did actually manage to finish The Perfect Stranger, which I didn't think I would last night, but I did. So let's talk about this, okay? Initially going in this book, I liked it. The more I read it, I was like, wait a second, bestie, I don't think I like this book. And you want to know why? First off, there are so many different plot lines in this book. It's just, it's, it, it, there's... Okay, obviously I'm lost for words. Very underwhelming. Um, oh, and then you have this subplot of the romance between the head detective and Leah, which was odd. And then, and then all of a sudden, like, the case gets solved because Leah suddenly knows what happens, which we got no explanation on how she came to figure that out. And then she suddenly knows where Emmy's at. She shows up at her house. And I'm like, how do you know where her house is? So I give it a two star because it, you know, the cover. I like the cover. But it ain't it, bestie. I'm so sorry. Um, so that's that. I, I have to start this book. And it's not that I don't want to read this series, because I do. I just don't want to read it right now. But I'm telling myself, if you read this now and get it over and done with, you have the rest of the month to read what you want. I'm like, true. Although, if someone came to me and said, oh, I have to read this book, I have to force myself to I'd be like, don't force yourself. Don't even read it. Like, it's not worth it. But me, I am so hard on myself, and if I don't read this in the time that I'm supposed to read it, because I'm supposed to read it between July 5th and 10th, if I don't read it between those times, I will be very mad at myself. So, I'm just going to read it, see how it goes. Um, this is the sequel to Fireborn. This is going to be a trilogy. Fury Song, I don't, is Fury Song already out? I don't know. I don't know if the last book is already out, but... Yeah, this is a chunker though. This is almost 500 pages and I'm not really looking forward to reading a 500 page book right now because I kind of want to read a romance. Like I'm looking at my TBR shelf and on my TBR this month is three books that I very much want to read. We have, I'm look, sorry if I keep looking this way, I'm looking at, we have Conversation with Friends, which I really want to read that book. We have, we'll always have Summer, which is the conclusion of the Summer I Turned Pretty series. And then I am finally doing my reread of A Court in Thorn and Roses. And I just want to read that. That's all I want to read, but we're going to do this. Sunlight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> look how gorgeous you look in the sunlight. Oh. All right. Golden hour for the golden boy. All right. See you later. Am I wearing another Game of Thrones shirt and yet another vlog? Yeah, I am. What are you gonna do about it? Hi friends, it is Wednesday, which is my Friday, my favorite day of the week, and I'm here with some reading updates. So last night I managed to get to page 60, which is chapter 5 of Flamefall, and is that what it's called? Yeah, Flamefall, and I really do like this book better than the first one. The first one, there was a lot of world building character introduction you know learning the magic learning everyone's names you know yada yada there was so much of that okay this book since we already know what's going on in this world 
it's easier to get into. And this literally picks up right where the first one left off. So I'm really liking it. I'm really enjoying it. We got introduced to a new character named Griff, which is, turns out was Lee's cousin's lover. So I'm really liking that. I'm curious to see where this book goes. Here is your daily Your daily Wyatt content. Say hello. Alright, putting him down. Plan is to read as much as I can today. I think I'm gonna film my mid year freak out tag tonight. And I kind of wanna get dressed up to take pictures. Um, yeah, the plan is to read a lot of this on my days off. And I also kind of sort of maybe want to start Aquatar this weekend but we'll see I have to finish this 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 um I feel like my updates this week have been so weird like I feel like I'm so weird this week and I don't know why someone tell me why I'm weird because I don't know I'm gonna go I'm gonna go now that I just dropped my book and I'm gonna go read and I will give you guys updates when I have updates. The gang's all here. Hi guys, it's later. It's, let's see what time it is. Holy moly, it's 8.41 at night. I am here with Wyatt because he was sitting up here watching me film. I just finished filming my mid-year freak out tag. And it went great. Um, which explains why I'm wearing this top and have a little bit of makeup on. I think I look quite cute. Don't do it. He's eyeing my feet. Does your cat, if you have a cat, does your cat like your feet? Oh my god, look. I'm not going to show you my feet. I'll just show you him. Can y'all see him? He's like wanting to attack, but I have reading updates. I, I'm a hundred pages in and I'm here to say, I do really like this book. It's going a lot better than the first one did. And just a little update. If you guys watched last week's vlog, um, the romance, love interest, whatever you want to call it in here was from friends, no strangers to friends to enemies to lovers and back to enemies and now they're trying to be friends again it's just like whoosh, whoosh, whiplash you know what i'm saying um so they're in the friend stage right now and i'm really liking it and i'm on chapter seven and that's all the updates i have for you so i'm probably going to i'm probably going to take my makeup off get into pjs i might watch I might watch a movie, have a snack, or read more. One of the three things I'll do. And I think I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm back. I think what I want to start doing is talk about my current song obsession. And this week, it's, it's Don't Come Back by Tate McRae. Obsessed. I can relate to this song so hard. But that's all I wanted to say. here to give you guys some reading updates and the gang I mean Joe Kevin and Nick anyways happy Thursday I listen I'm running very very late this morning it is already 10 30 and I'm supposed to be at my parents by now so I'm here at my apartment and I almost left without giving you guys an update and I'm like shit 
So here we are. I'm giving you reading updates. But first, the reason you may be like, Caleb, why are you running late this morning? You want to know why? You know why? First off, I slept until 7.30. I never do that. And that put me behind because usually I'm up at 6.30. So I was already running an hour behind. And then I decided to schedule my June wrap up today. And I decided to edit the thumbnail, do all that because... I said I was going to do it yesterday and I forgot. Then before I knew it, it was 9.30 and I was like, uh-oh. And my hair needed like dried and done. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, I want to learn how to curl my hair with a straightener. It took 40 minutes and I hate it. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I hate it. Some didn't curl, some did. I don't understand how you girlies do it. How do you curl your hair with a straightener because it doesn't work? And I'm wondering if it's the straightener because I have kind of, I don't have like one of those little flat irons. I have like a bigger one. So maybe that's why, but I think I'm just going to stick to the wand. I'm a wand kind of girly when it comes to curling my hair. I don't use a old fashioned curling iron. I don't know how y'all do the you know what I'm saying? That movement y'all do, you curl it and then undo it. and curl. I can't understand that. Same thing with the curling iron. You guys flip it and then drag it down. But this, you see this? This is what I did. It didn't do anything. Some curled, some didn't. I hate it. I don't have time to fix it. I'll fix it when I get to my parents' house. But I'm going to give you guys reading updates. So last night I got to 100. I got to page 155 in Flamefall. And I'm really liking it. I'm very excited to dive into this and just binge it today. But I wanted to read you guys something to convince you guys to read this series. So this is a boy talking about a girl he's, you know, talking about a girl he kind of has a thing for. Also, if you can hear the lawnmowers, sorry. I've spent years making myself not notice how she looks in a flame suit. Also black, also form-fitting, but this gown asked to be looked at. To show her as a woman, for the brief glance, I let myself take of her hips, tapering to waist, of the nubs of her collarbones, peeking beneath a high neckline. I remember the miracle of it, that this vision of a girl once stood on a tiptoe to fit her lips to mine, that when she felt my hands on her waist, she only kissed me harder. <coughs> I was like, excuse me? So, if that doesn't convince you to read this book, then I don't know what will. So, that's all the reading updates I have. Probably won't talk to you guys until tomorrow. And I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you guys. Happy Friday. Um, I'm back home, obviously. I have some packages that were sent to me. I don't know what this one is. It's quite heavy. So I guess you could say they're PR packages. Who is she? No, I don't think they're PR packages. Uh, these are, I just, I know this one because they reached out to me again and wanted me to do videos for them. So I said, yes, of course, because I had such a fun time last time. And then this, I forget, but we're going to find out together. I have reading updates though. Um, so let me do reading updates first, just in case you only care about the reading updates and not the unboxing. So I am still reading Flamefall and I actually made quite a bit of progress while I was at my parents' house. I read up to page 302, which is chapter 21, and I have a little over 180 pages to go. So I'll, I'm hoping to finish it today. It is, what time is it? It's 2.42, so I think I should, but I do have to work out still today, make dinner, but I'm off tomorrow, so even if I need to, I can stay up late and finish this. But I am really, really liking this a lot more than I thought I would. 
The characters are great. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but we got a new, I think I did, Griff, the new character we got, is kind of on the opposing side. And he has now kind of joined forces with the side he's not supposed to join. And I'm very excited to see where this will go. And we have a new romance kind of developing. There's been one kiss, but that's about it. But, um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really like this book a whole lot more than I thought I would going into this entire series. So I'm very happy with that. But that's all the reading updates I have. So let's get into unboxing because I really want to know. I don't know about you guys, but I always see all these people like save up their packages and open them in one go. I can't. I love opening things. Even like if I get it, I just I have to open it right away. I can't just let it sit there. I don't know how people do it. I would love to so that way I have like more than one thing to open at once but ooh fun <gasps> wait this is from the happy planner this is wait a wait a second sorry is this my life okay so let me get everything out so this is a it says it's a teacher planner but I think it can be used for a reading planner because it says reading <gasps> it says the world was hers for the reading okay this is a teacher planner I'm not a teacher um but I wonder if I could like use it for I probably could use it just as like a regular plant planner mm. I don't know, I wish I knew someone who was a teacher to give this to because I thought this was a reading journal, like a reading, because it has a, a library. I don't know, maybe, let's see. Let's see. I mean, it has calendars and all that and day-to-day. -day. So I could use this as like a reading, like to track my reading and stuff like that. I just won't be able to use, um, like because they have, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like this thing that says school schedule and all that. I'll do close up so you guys can see, but I won't be able to use that, but everything else it looks like I could use. Now, here's my thing. Beyond grateful, Happy Planner chose to send me stuff. Like literally pinched me, is this my life? But here's the thing, I'm an Erin Condren girly. I love Erin Condren. I've been using Erin Condren for years. Um, avid Erin Condren user. I have actually switched over to Notion, but I'm still going to use this because I like to write stuff down, but I also like to digital plan, but I'm more of a write stuff down girly, so I could flip back and forth. But I'm going to figure out a way to use this because the cover is gorge. Okay. Next, they sent me a guided happy journal, which I am all for this one because I need to get back in a journal. I used to journal every single day, and then I just kind of, you know, life was going good, and I didn't use my journal, and I seem to only journal when my life is not great, and I need to get out of that, and I need to learn to journal no matter what, so this is great okay i think i'll just do close-ups of all these all this stuff so you guys can see it um because i feel like me holding it up is pointless because y'all can't see it this is cool oh this is cool okay i'm gonna show y'all in a sec like after i get done updating you guys but yeah it says hello Hello, happy. So freaking cute. And then we have stickers, which I love stickers. Oh, these are cute. <gasps> these, okay, so these are modern bookish stickers, but a lot of them look like they're teacher themed too, which again, I'm not a teacher. 
so I can't, I wish I knew a teacher in my life so I could give them, like, the teacher stuff, but, yeah, this is really cool, I'll do close-ups. Okay. I was like, why is this so heavy? Now I get it. Okay, next one is, is Once Upon a Book Club, which, do you guys remember, I did one couple weeks ago was the darling girl and I will be filming a reading vlog on my TikTok for this because that's where I have the video I have to do is on TikTok so look out for that oh cute this is what theme is this I think it's the cupcake theme gorgeous cover. It's fake it till you bake it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god. I just can't handle this. I'm going to take you guys off and show you guys it. And yeah. Okay. Right. Next is Once Upon a Book Club. So we got this, which has a bookmark, this sign template from the author and stuff like that. And then I don't look at this packaging for these gifts. Like cute. This one. <laughs> I'm crying. It's so cute. And then this little one. And then this one. This one's kind of heavy. And then we got this one too. And then here is the book. So yeah. Very excited about this packaging. Thank you Happy Planner and thank you Once Upon a Book Club for sending me those. I'm so internally grateful. I do have a discount code for um, once upon a book club, I'll put it up on the screen, but I think it's Cal reads 20. I think you get 20% off. It's something like that. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm bad at remembering that stuff, but I'm going to clean this mess up. I'm going to film my TikTok video that I need to do for them. And then I'm going to go work out and I'll probably talk to you guys later. This is my first time talking to you guys. I haven't talked to you guys all day. It's actually 3 o'clock. Um, so last night I could not sleep at all. I tossed and turned. Finally fell, probably fell asleep around like 3 a.m. And then I woke up this morning at 9. I don't wake up that late. That is late to me. I felt so thrown off. I was just, I hated it. I hated it. And I know like maybe like my body not being able to sleep and then sleeping in is telling me like I need to just like take a day to not do anything but I'm just not that type of person to do that it literally drives me insane just to sit I can't do it I have to be productive um reading is productive to me so that doesn't count but I don't know it was just so weird and I don't like sleeping till nine because I felt like half my day is already gone because I'm usually up at 6 30 so half my day I felt like was already gone and I just it was so weird like I didn't even eat breakfast till like 11 o'clock because I worked out and stuff, and then I finished a book, finished a book, and then I filmed a couple stuff, and now I'm here. Obviously, I did my makeup, obviously, but I'm here talking to you guys to fill you guys in updates. So, I actually finished Flamefall, and I am giving this book a three star. I really, really enjoyed this book a lot. I cannot wait for the last book. I don't know when the last book is coming out. Let me check when it's coming out because I need to know what happens. Yeah, it kind of left off on a cliffhanger and I'm like, oh, I must know what it is. Um, the romances in this are developing and blooming and I love it. And I'm just like, I literally can't remember the last time I read a YA fantasy that I was just totally in love with. I think maybe the Curse Breaker series possibly was the last YA fantasy series that I really really enjoyed. So 
I'm very excited to have another one that I am really liking. Let me check when this book comes out because that's what I was doing. It comes out, y'all, August 9th. So go get it if you want the series. I highly recommend the series. It's great. It's a great fantasy series. The romance is not the forefront of the whole story. It's just found family trope, I would say. There's dragons in it. There's, um, there's not a magic system in this at all. Um, I don't know. Are dragons technically magic? Yeah, there's everything you want in a fantasy is in this series. So I highly recommend it. If that was so unconvincing, I'm so sorry. So now I don't really know what else to do because I am my next book I want to start is A Court of Thorn and Roses which is a reread and I'm gonna do a special vlog for that book but I'm buddy reading it with Brie so I'm waiting for her to be done with her current read so we can start it so do I start We'll Always Have Summer I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna start We'll Always Have Summer and then whenever she's done with her book I'll pause We'll Always Have Summer and pick up A Court of Thorn and Roses I think that's what I'm gonna do I just realized I've finished three books already this week. Technically two of them, I was over halfway done with them, but they still count. And this one I read start to finish this week. So we're on a roll this week. It helps that I had a lot of time this week. I work wasn't too bad and all that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go read, have some lunch because I'm starving, even though it's three o'clock, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this week's weekly read vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. I feel like this week I had a lot of fun with this weekly reading vlog. I felt more myself and I felt open and I'm getting more comfortable with the camera and I think you can definitely tell. I mean, I danced around for you guys. I don't ever do that. But I think this week also was a very good reading week for me. I haven't had a reading week where I've read more than one book in a very long time. So I'm pretty happy about that. If you guys made it to the end of this video, let me know your current song fixation because I would love to know when I'm nosy like that. I love knowing what people are listening to at the current moment. If you guys are liking what you were seeing, make sure you subscribe. Also, like and comment. And follow me on all my social medias so we can become friends and chit-chat about books. And I will catch you guys in next week's vlog. Yeah, 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 yeah. She asked me really, do you love me? I said...